Alright, this is a video I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. Um, I did a video a few years ago called Long Range Shooting in the Rain. And uh, back then I didn't know, I was nowhere near as passionate about long range shooting as I am now. Um, it was something I was just dabbling in. And uh, since then I have really taken it to the next level and I didn't know anywhere near the amount that I knew about long range that I know about long range shooting now as I knew then in that video. Um, I in that video I set up a Ipsic steel at 500 yards and it was a slight drizzle, a slight drizzle to you know a, sm a moderate rain. And I went out and I shot a five shot group, all center mass, sub minute group at 500 yards. So to me it, it that was proof that the bullet's trajectory was not affected by the rain, um, which I still hold that that theory to a point. I, I still believe that a bullet's trajectory is not affected by the rain as long as the bullet remains supersonic. So we'll get into that in this video on why I believe that. So for science, for the points of, for the for redneck science at that, I went out in the absolute pouring down rain. I took 15 rounds with me my Savage 12FV Custom 6 Creedmoor rig. This thing, I'm sure you've seen in other videos, it is absolutely lights out. So I took 15 rounds out, 105 grain Hornady boat tail hollow point match, and I shot, I set up three precision targets. And my goal was to hit all three precision targets at a thousand yards in the pouring down rain with only 15 rounds. So I set up a milk jug full of red water, a two liter that had that was a two liter boom bottle. So it had one of the caps on it that make, lets it hold. It had 80 psi of air and some flour in it to make a nice poop when it gets hit, and then a 12 ounce Mountain Dew can. And I was able to pretty successfully and pretty easily hit all three targets in the pouring down rain at a thousand yards with those 15 rounds and still have a few left over so and so i want to explain the reason that i was able to do that the reason that the bullet was able to fly through the rain and remain completely unaffected not hitting any raindrops along the way throwing it off its trajectory at a thousand yards in the pouring down rain so this video is how that is possible and, and why that works so, hope y'all enjoy it. Let's do it. Alright, so my first target was a Mountain Dew can. This is 1,020 yards, and this is the last four shots. It, watch how close these four shots are. If these shots were affected at all by the rain, they would not be this close. And this took me seven shots total. side of the can. on that but that had to be really close. I'm gonna bring this down just a bit. Okay, just to the right elevation perfect. Got it. 
There it was. Can of Mountain Dew in the pouring down rain. 1,020 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots at 1020. Very nice. It took three shots for these last two targets, both at a thousand and twenty. There she goes. Alright. Got a boom bottle right next to it. Oh, that's This is the reason all this is possible. These are what is known as Schlaren photography pictures. These are pictures of actual bullets moving above the speed of sound. And when a bullet is moving above the speed of sound, you will notice they make what it looks like fins coming off the bullet. That is actually the supersonic cone around the bullet. When a object travels above the speed of sound, it makes a sonic boom. As the bullet moves down range, continuing its sonic boom, that cone made by the bullet traveling above the speed of sound actually protects the bullet from being impacted by rain. Now, obviously, if the bullet was to come into contact with anything hard, you know, like a hard barrier, obviously that cone would not protect it. But against things like raindrops, something that can easily be moved out of the way, that cone protects the bullet from being thrown off its trajectory. Now when a bullet is moving slower, like this pistol bullet, you'll notice the, the angle of that cone is much less drastic. That is because a slower bullet has less protection.